All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. It's Wednesday here at the house. All right, I got a great hit day planned for us. All right, so all we're going to need right now is our body weight to warm up. All right, so we'll give it a couple seconds here. All right, for today, we're going to need a pair of dumbbells. If you have a step up box or a bench that you can step onto, we'll need that too. And then just our body for the rest of this workout. All right, so to start today, we are going to get a four round series here. We're going to have three exercises. So we're going to hit 25 jumping jacks into 10 bodyweight squats into five reverse lunges each leg. All right, so ready? We're going to start here and hit it. 25 jumping jacks, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, yes. Let's take it down into 10 body weight squats. All right, and hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And good, guys. We're going to take it into five lunges each leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, guys. Other leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, guys. And take it right back to those jumping jacks. Ready? And hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, guys. Ten body weight squats here. And hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, yes. <clears throat> and five lunges. One, two, three, four, five. And switch legs. One, two, three, four and five good guys all right take it into round three right here and hit it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four and five good guys another ten squats here and hit it so one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go, guys. Five lunges here. And one, two, three, four, and five. Switch legs. And one, two, three, four, and five. Good, guys. All right. Last round here. All right. And hit it. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. All right, ten squats, and then five on each leg. Then you can get a little water, and we'll take you through the rest of our warm up here. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's get five lunges. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, and one, two, three, four, five. Good, yes. All right, get a little sip, and then we'll take it back here. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that Monday pump day, right? It was a good chest and back workout. I'm pretty sore from it. All right, I did it after. All right, so we got a hit day today. So we're gonna do our VH standard warm up here. Okay, so we'll take it right into our leg kicks and the whole nine. Then we got a little bit of hip work and then the real fun is going to begin. Let's just check my laptop right there. All right, so VH standard. All right, we're gonna do our standing leg kicks here. So we're gonna get five aside, 10 total, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirte
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, yes. All right, let's take it into our leg cradles for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, guys. Quad pull here for 10, 10 total, five a side. So I've been watching that show Cobra Kai on Netflix. It's the show that's based off of the Karate Kid. It is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. That's six right there. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Yeah, Cobra Kai, Daniel Sun. Woo, Ralph Macchio in that, and the guy who plays Johnny, I don't even know his name. It is awesome. Hands down, a great television show, and it incorporates that 80s music for all you 80s people out there. All right, so guys, we're gonna get our side lunge here. We're gonna step out, straighten that opposite leg. All right, we're gonna get 10 here, five aside. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go, yes. All right, so your hip work here, all right? You are going to take it down to the ground and you have three rounds here. Oh, it's a hip and shoulders work, I should say. Three rounds here. Let me just roll my bench over here because we're gonna need a little elevation. All right, so three rounds here, guys. And I'm gonna demonstrate and then you guys can pause the video and get your three rounds. So the three rounds we got here, okay, we have a bird dog for 10 each side. So think about your bird dog here, okay? That's our six point stance, okay? We, oh, let me move this bench back a little bit more. So you can see me in the camera. Okay, our bird dog here, we're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, and we're gonna get a two second hold at the top. Straight back on both those, hold, engage that core. Okay, you're gonna get 10 each side there for 20 total. After that, you're gonna stay on the ground and you're gonna get your swimmers. Okay, so you're gonna be on the ground, you're gonna have your arms out in front, you're gonna rotate to the lower back, lift, come back around. Keep your arms above the ground, hands to the lower back, Lift the trunk, all right, you're gonna get 10 swimmers. After your 10 swimmers, you're gonna to come to an elevated position, either on a bench or a couch, whatever you have that's elevated. You're gonna lie across it, and we're gonna get our elevated glute bridges, okay? You're gonna get 15 here. So it's 10 bird dogs aside, 10 swimmers total, and 15 elevated glute bridges. You're gonna get three rounds of everything, and then we're gonna take it into the next part. So pause your video right here, guys. Do those three rounds of hip and shoulder work, and then we're gonna get into the real fun. All right, guys, so now that we're done with our hip work, all right, we are going to take it into our workout right here. Now, for this part, all you're gonna need is a pair of dumbbells that you can clean or curl, and then do a rack squat with. So let's grab those dumbbells if you have them. And then we are going to need something like a broomstick that we can jump over. Or you can just use a line if you have a line in your basement or in your garage, okay? So the broomstick, and again, I'm gonna move this bench out of the way. It's a little close and in my view. Okay. The broomstick is gonna be for our burpees, but to start, we are gonna start with our high plank jacks. So that bench that we have over here, you're gonna post up on this bench. Oh, sorry. Well, you can do it two ways. You can post up on the bench and do it from a real high position for some of you that have lower back issues. And you can walk your feet back and you can go in and out like you're doing a jumping jack, okay? Think about engaging that core or you can do it from the push-up position, all right? and you go in and out, all right? Really engage that core, all right? You are going to get 15 reps there. After you do your 15 reps, you're gonna do four 
burpees over broomsticks. So my broomstick is on the ground right here. You're gonna do a burpee. Your choice on if you wanna do the push-up or not. It's gonna be a burpee. Jump over to the side of the broomstick. All right, and you're gonna do four of those. So quick and fast. After you do your four burpee over broomsticks, you are going to do five cleans to squats. So you're gonna start in this position right here. You're gonna clean the weights up and you're gonna squat down. Bring it back down, clean, squat. All right, so we are gonna get a seven minute timer here. So get your timer, set that puppy to seven minutes and we are gonna get 15 of our high plank jacks. You had two ways you can do it. You can do it off the bench or off the ground in push-up position. 15 high plank jacks, four burpee over broomsticks. And again, that's after you do your burpee, you jump over to the side, do another burpee, and then you're gonna do your five clean to squats, all right? We have seven minutes of work there. At the end of that seven minute timer, get some water and then We'll move on to the next, all right? So pause the video right here, guys. Hit that seven minutes of work, and then we'll bring it back. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that first part there. All right, that seven minutes is tough. I know that was a killer. Those burpees catch up, and those clean the squats can get real tough the more you get into those rounds. All right, so this second part right here, it is also going to be for a seven minute timer. Now, there's three exercises again, all right, and I am gonna demonstrate those exercises for you right now. Now, if you have a step up box, you are going to set these step up boxes up. Now, it doesn't have to be high, all right, it could be a low box, whatever you have available. If you have a bench, you can use your bench as your step up, but your choice on if you want to use dumbbells or not, okay? We are going to do a step up to a knee drive. So we're going to step up, drive the knee, back down, all the way to the ground with the feet. You're going to get five aside. After you get your five aside, all right, after we get our five aside, we're going to do a hand walk, hand walk over or onto the box off to a push-up. So if you have a little box like this, even if you have a big box, that's fine, but the lower the better, okay? You're gonna set this box up, all right? And you are gonna do a hand walk over the box to a push-up. So you're gonna walk onto the box, off, push-up, back onto the box, off, push-up, and you're gonna get six total reps there. After you get your six total reps there, we're gonna do a reverse lunge to a curl and press. Now, that looks like this. So we got our step ups for five each leg, our hand walk onto the box, off the box push ups, and then our reverse lunges to a curl and press. You're gonna get three each leg here. You're gonna step back all the way to the ground with the knee, curl, press, stand back up, okay? So again, all the way to the ground with the knee, curl, press, back up. You're gonna get three each leg there, okay? So six total reps on the lunges, 10 total reps on the step up with the knee drive, and uh, six on the hand walk push-ups, okay? You got a seven minute timer on that, all right? So you guys can set that timer, get your stuff set up, pause the video here, and then, move, and then we'll move on to the next one you're done, all right? Good luck with that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you your core work here today. You got three total rounds of core work, okay? So on the core work here, you are gonna do a leg lift or a weighted leg lift, okay? So you'll grab this dumbbell that you've been using right here, okay? You're gonna lie on the ground. We're gonna hold it right over the chest, all right? And we're gonna do a weighted leg lift. You're going to get 10 to 15 there. Okay. The weight moves away from the legs. After you get your 10 to 15, we're going to get our crab position, elbows to knee. So we're going to be here and we're going to move our elbow to our knee. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you could reach for the toe. All right. You're going to get 10 aside there. So it's 
10 to 15 on the weighted leg lift, and then you're going to get those crab crunches. I'll demonstrate from the side on that so you can get a side view. All right, again, it's either it's crab position, elbow to knee, or reach for the toe. All right, and it's 10 each side on those. All right, so you guys are going to get three rounds there. Hit your three rounds, and then meet me back here for our finisher. All right, guys. So I hope the core is burning after that one. All right, those crab crunches always light me up. So our finisher for today is going to be a Tabata series of 20 seconds of work into a 20 second hold. So we are going to just do body weight squats. Okay, so you're going to do eight rounds. It's going to be 20 seconds of squatting into a 20 second squat hold. And you're gonna do eight rounds of that, no breaks. Do your best, those legs are gonna be screaming, all right, but hold a good squat position. Think about keeping that chest up, that back flat, and you're sitting those hips back to your heels, okay? Right here in this position, all right? Do your best, try to keep your hands off your knees. If you wanna make that a little bit easier for yourself, you can do 20 seconds of squatting, 20 seconds holding, and then 20 seconds of rest. But if you really wanna challenge yourself, guys, hit 20 seconds of squatting, 20 second hold, and then right back into that squat and hit eight rounds of that, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this Wednesday HIT workout. I'll see you next time for another V-Fit Live. All right, and enjoy the rest of the week. Have a great night.